Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here, and I'd just like to first start off with a very quick question. How would you feel if you had the password to your lock written on the very front of it so anyone could write it down, type it into a database, and get the code to the key printed out in just a second, so then you could go get a key made to your lock at a local locksmith, and then anyone can get into this lock very easily. You can find these codes on many different locks. You can see it on the front of this master lock pad lock. You can see them on the back of some of the dial combination locks and just some miscellaneous locks out there. What I'm going to do is explain to you what these codes are and why they put your lock security at risk. More information is coming up on this topic in just a second. Please stay tuned. So what you're seeing in front of you here is called a blind code, and this is a code that the manufacturer puts on the front of the lock, so if you lose your key, you'll be able to get a new key made very easily. On this particular lock, this is printed on ink, and you can erase it with just an eraser and mark it off, but not everyone does that. If you leave this code on the front of your lock, it is putting your lock at risk because anyone with the know-how could write it down and get the code very quickly. But on the case of this dial combination lock here, the code on the back is actually stamped in and there's really no way for me to easily remove it. So if you have this installed on a locker, you could easily flip it back and write down the code and then you could get a key made so you could open up this lock very quickly without ever knowing the combination. And what I actually did for both of these locks were I did that precisely because when I had both of these locks initially, they did not come with a key. I was able to type these codes in and I was able to get the bidding code made so I could have a locksmith cut me a key to be able to get these locks open. But this is not the only way that you see lock codes today. If you check out in my video number 277, you can see that the more common way it is done now is the code is put on the key itself. On the Schleg key, you can see it's a 67355, and that is actually the code to this key right now, and it is not hidden. And you can just go to the locksmith and say I have a SC1 key that needs to be cut to 67355, and you could get a copy of this key made in just a second. They have other ways they are doing it now where Master Lock will put it on the key itself and it's going to be a blind code as well. This 12Z171. You're going to need to type this into a database, but once again, once you type it into the database, you get the code printed out, you can make a key to this lock in just a few seconds. So a few of the take home messages are you always just want to know what your locks have on them and what security flaws you may be presenting out to the general public. You never want to have the code to the front of your lock written on the front of it because anyone with any basic knowledge could make a key to your lock without any effort whatsoever. You do not want to leave a key out in public view that has the code written on it because anyone could take a picture of it and make a code cut key in just a second. And the same thing with the blind codes as well. But even if you have a regular key that does not have the code written on it, you do not want to leave that out because people can still take a photograph of them, upload them on some websites, or just visually decode them because it's not that hard with a little bit of experience. One thing I always recommend you do is if you have a key with the code on the front of it, it's just to get it duplicated so you do not have the code written on it. But on any of these locks, I always recommend that you write down the actual bidding code to your lock so if you ever lose the key, you could make a new one in a few moments. But all I wanted to do was share with you today what are these really small codes you see on the front of some locks, and these are actually the password to your lock. On some of the ones like this master lock, you can wipe them off so they will go away and not jeopardize the security of your lock. But on other ones like this combination lock, these are pretty much stamped in here and you're not going to be able to get them off. But this is all that I have for you today, guys. This is just a little brief look at some security flaws and just some ways to protect your locks. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you'll have a great day. And thank you so much for checking this out.